At the start of 2022, I get scammed for 4.5k and the skins were not even mine. But a week later, I get it all back and this is how it all happened. So it all started when I started playing Face It at the start of the year and I set a goal for myself to reach top 100 in the Masters League. And because of that, it brought some attention from a lot of people and uh, I got probably like four or five times more average viewers on Twitch than I usually get. Which means that it attracts a lot of good people and also some douchebags. And one of them was Cosmo. He's one of the good people, not the douchebags. Anyways, I've known Cosmo for probably over a year now, and as he says himself, he's the self-proclaimed manager of Zippo CS. Which also means he has a very nice inventory, and he offered me some of his skins to play with him for a week, and I, of course, accepted, because why the fuck not, right? Anyways, let's forward a week later, after I got a lot of nice clips with the skins and some reactions in the chat. So from what I can remember now, is that I was playing games once again, and I think I actually saw Cosmo come in the chat, and I asked him when he wants his skins back and from what i remember he said that you can just give them back whenever you want he's not in a big rush or anything but me not wanting to hold someone else's property for too long i wanted to give them back as fast as possible obviously i couldn't do it at the time because i was in game so yeah after the game i just forgot but there's one little factor which might have impacted this whole thing of me getting scammed which is my nose bleeding that same day or overall for a week or weeks my nose has been bleeding like crazy and that same day my nose started bleeding while i was in game so it was kind of hard to finish the game and also i knew that i'll have to relax after the game because i'll be a bit lightheaded and i'll have to watch some videos and shit like that so yeah it was it was not good it was not good i guess it's the same for paypal my fucking nose started bleeding again great god i have to play like this now Soon all run out of fucking blood and faint here, dude. <clears throat> I'll queue up in like a few minutes, boys. I just wanna lay back a bit because my fucking nose is bleeding. So then I watched a few videos and after I was done watching them, I was ready to play again. But before I started playing a game, I went into my trade offers and I saw Cosmo has sent me a trade offer for his skins. And Let's remember that before this month, I'm used to having pretty much the same people come in my chat. There's not many like new people or bad people that are there to like scam me or something. And also my nose has been bleeding for several minutes now and I'm kind of just brained it at this moment. So I just go over the trade offer. I don't check the profile. I don't bother to ask Cosmo anything. I I'm just like, oh, cool. Let me send the skins and move on with my life. And well, rest is history. It's very uh, painful, not gonna lie. When I was cutting up this clip, I felt some fucking PTSD and I was just overall feeling very uncomfortable watching the footage. So I just wanna get uh, over this video and move on with my life once again, man. So let's check the trade offers real quick. All the jump in overpass game. Oh, Cosmo's taking a shit back. All right, man. Look how many kills I got. 151, 123, 245 on this, 204 on the on the AK. All right. Thank you, Cosmo, for the the the, the little uh, the little thing. Wait. Hey, wake up. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I'm fucking stupid, man. Die. Please tell me it somehow didn't accept it on Steam. It fucking accepted it, dude. Oh. Man. I'm gonna fucking kill myself, dude. I'm gonna fucking. Dude, I'm so done. No. Oh, I can't take this anymore, man. Oh, it's so much money. It's so much fucking money, man. Oh, God. Why did I check? Why did I fucking do it? Man! Fuck! Dude! Oh. oh my god, I'm so stupid! Fuck! Oh. What fucking pixels, man? What fucking pixels? This is thousands of dollars, man. 
I'm such a clown. I li literally, my fucking whole life is trash now. I'm so sorry, Cosmo. I'll legit, I'll give you all my fucking inventory, man. I don't know, guys. I'll, I'll just fucking go off, man. So then I just ended my stream after all that crazy shit happened and I did a pretty questionable tweet which got a lot of uh, response of like people questioning what happened and over a few minutes uh, a lot of the Twitter community understood what the fuck happened but during that time I was just laying in my bed for like an hour and overthinking my life what the fuck I'll do because I knew that I'm fucking broke dude there is no shot I can pay him back any money and then after like an hour I manned up I fucking stood up and I was like you know what fuck it I'll just send him all my skins that I have because I knew, knew that my inventory is worth close to like 6,000 so I can send a bit of it and then also keep some skins for myself so I'm not totally like fucking ruined but instead of that happening I had a lot of people hitting me up on Twitter and offering small help of like covering uh, some skins or whatever which I of course refused because I'm not trying to take anything from anyone for my own mistakes and then the big fucking dog Mr. Sipple hit me up and he was like don't worry about anything I'll cover everything for you and of course I was like I don't want that either because you know I don't want anything handed to me so I just refused that and uh I stuck to the plan of just giving my skins to Cosmo but then a person whose name I'm not gonna mention offered me two of the Desert Hiders, which I accepted because that person is involved with Skinbit and at the time I was pretty involved too, helping them with social media stuff and customer support. And the reason why I accepted is because I never really got paid for my work and even though the trade offer I got was way more than the work I've done for them, it felt way different than accepting something out of a thin air. And that's end of the story. No. And the day after I get scammed, or a few days after I get scammed, I actually added the scammer on Steam in hopes of maybe him accepting and then seeing if I can have a little conversation with him. And before I had the chance to even write to him when he did accept me, he wrote me this. I'm so sorry man. I feel horrible and I can't imagine how you must feel. I will send everything back once it's tradable. All I'm asking is our chat will remain private. And then we had a little conversation. But yeah, in this chat you can see I was trying to keep it as respectful as possible, just in case he maybe changes his mind if I say something wrong. But yeah, I'm not gonna read it all out if you want to read it you can just pause the video so yeah but yeah after he sent all the skins back to Cosmo I got in contact with him again and I just asked him for his crypto address so I can send him something in crypto which was hundred dollars it's not a lot and also I know that I probably shouldn't have sent anything to him since he's a scammer but at the end of the day he did save me 4.5k so why the fuck not but yeah that's the end of the story hopefully you got something out of this to be like more careful of uh, receiving trades and I don't know just being overall aware of people like sending you links or some other scam shit because it is fucking painful when you do get scammed and uh, I don't know if you've been scammed before I know how it feels it feels fucking horrible especially when it's a massive amount but yeah what happened to me is very lucky and probably has never happened to anyone ever and you're probably more likely to unbox the number one float karambit case heart with a rare blue pattern yeah what? and getting your skins back from a scammer but yeah anyways make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video adios